Sometimes in gaming, we are sold a false narrative. Box art, concept drawing, cinematic trailers, and overall hype for games can lead consumers to make a decision based on marketing material versus actual gameplay. As fans of gaming, this practice has become commonplace. As developers make more sneaky and less transparent decisions, I begin to wonder, could any of this be listed as actual false advertisement? Let's go ahead and take a closer look. What's up guys, it's Derek who aka Sherlock Bones back at it again with a brand new video. If you're new here, consider subscribing as I release new videos at least three times a week. Now with that said, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the number one contender for false advertisement in games. So yeah. It's no secret that World of Warcraft, or WoW, is a popular game. Developed by Blizzard Entertainment, the creators behind Overwatch, it is extremely popular and has over 8 million active subscribers who pay a monthly fee. And I mean, the scores and reviews reflect this. I'm not saying by any extent that WoW is not a good game. It's loved by many, just not me. If we take a closer look at some of the cinematic evidence that is released in some of these trailers, you can see just how they showcase over-the-top action, graphics, and a sense of epicness in adventure. This is completely different from what is shown in the actual gameplay as the game was first released back in 2001. It has had very few updates to the actual engine and the overall graphical aesthetic for the gameplay. This is a primary contender for false advertisement in games as many of us have seen at least one of their commercials here on YouTube or several TV channels like Comedy Central, Adult Swim, or Cartoon Network. It got so bad even that my girlfriend at the time, now my wife, said, wow, why don't you go and play that game? I basically responded like this. It's because it's World of Warcraft. She looked at me very confused and basically ended up dropping the conversation. WoW is known for being a meme when it comes to breaking expectations. From its silly character sizes to its overarching and confusing interface, it's hard to see how these trailers translate to gameplay at all. I'm just really frustrated and torn now when I see a WoW trailer. I mean, from my experience in Overwatch, Blizzard does know how to make great cinematics. They get you pumped, they get you really hyped and really invested into the game, into the characters and the story. And speaking of which, Overwatch is different in that regard as well. Be because the graphics in Overwatch don't necessarily look like complete crap, I can say that I don't necessarily feel cheated by the money and time that I spent in the game. Not to mention, it doesn't have a subscription fee. World of Warcraft is a stereotype, and not a positive one at that. It's the reason why so many people believe PC gaming to be an absolute joke and kind of like its own meme about nerds and kind of like being losers. The immersion breaking gameplay is hard for me to get into and I'm not the only one. I'm not saying that everyone needs to like the game for it to be a good game, but it would be nice for the game trailer to actually reflect a similarity to the actual gameplay. The gameplay is dated and as a result feels dated. Blocky polygons cover the screen with a look that is cartoony and comes off as funny in its execution. The character models seem not to properly fit in the world that they were built in. Overly large doorways don't seem to announce the prestige and presence of a great hall, but rather jokingly announce that scale is second thought. I don't want to take too much time here talking about just the aesthetic and the looks of the game, but rather I don't think that the game World of Warcraft offers anything new for me. The scenery is dull, the effects are quite frankly terrible. It's sad to see this because thanks to, to my negative stigma against games like World of Warcraft and other MMOs, other people have negative stigma and bias against MMOs. I actually stayed away from MMOs for a long time because of it. I remember having a friend who explained to me the reason why World of Warcraft and other MMOs had shitty graphics was basically to make the game more accessible for a massive amount of players and also lowered the amount of load on a server and made the game easier to connect to and easier to interact with other people. And in my mind, that meant that all MMOs were going to look terrible, and man, was I wrong. You see, at the end of the day, it's not that hard to develop a good looking MMO. If you just use a newer engine and kind of work around aesthetics in mind, you can really make a great looking game. It wasn't until this year when I actually found what I was looking for. I picked up Black Desert Online and I realized that MMOs can actually look great and play great as well. Not to mention there's rumors of this MMO coming and releasing on Xbox One very soon. So I take a deeper look into that game if you like MMOs or just like titties. So yeah, 
that just about does it for me guys i feel that there's plenty more examples of false advertisement in video games tell me what were some of yours down in the comment section below also if you guys want me to continue on with this series maybe touch on some other games or other products in the future go ahead and tongue punch that like button as always and if you're into world of warcraft you like playing the game that's fine like i said it's not a bad game it's just a little bit disappointing to me Remember, you can always debate me in the comment sections or on Twitter, and I'm open to new ideas. I'm open to seeing things from a new perspective. If you're new here, I would consider subscribing because I make new Cancerous content consistently, and I can't do it all without you guys. So, once again, my name is Neriku, aka Shwabooz, and I will hopefully see each and every one of you weird AF mofos in the next video. Peace.